Welcome back to another walk around and test drive video here at Coyote Classics. Today we're going to be checking out a beautiful 1971 Dodge Challenger uh, done in its factory color. Yeah, uh, original hemi -orange. orange color. Just fantastic car. Yeah, really neat uh, original interior, rust free undercarriage. Kind of a survivor car, really neat. Yeah, we, we just talked about calling this a survivor car because it does not have the original engine. It's been upgraded to a 440. And I'll tell you what, this thing flies. See, I drove it one time when it came in, and uh, fantastic car. Um, it is original Hemi Orange. It's been painted one time, but if you go to our website, coyoteclassics.com, you'll see that the floors, frame rails, trunk, all original underneath. Uh, still kind of the original red paint, original Hemi Orange paint over there. Very cool. As far as under the hood, factory air car, power steering, original fender tag. Does have an old set of hooker headers. Um, a little older exhaust, but it still sounds great. You see how she sounds out the back? Yeah, do it. Bottom of the hood looks really nice as well. Man, great sounded muscle, isn't it? Yeah, it is. How I would classify this car as a really nice um, local car show quality driver. As we look up and down the sides, super straight body. Paint's really nice, buffed out to a good shine. The vinyl top all looks to be in good shape. Um, as we look at these vinyl tops, we always want to look just around that back window. It's just always a bad spot for rust. Um, all along here, there's no bubbles or boils or nothing you can feel or see. It's got the dual chrome mirrors. I like that they put a fan shroud on it as well, especially being an air car in a big block. Um, you gotta keep this thing cool. It's got the original style radiator in it. It's got the rally hood. It's got the iconic 1971 grill. Original bumpers, I think, still, especially on the back one. If you look around the edges, you can just see the just the, the slight oxidation on the bumpers. They still shine well, um, but they really show as original. And that's kind of the case of the whole car as we look at it besides the paint, um, especially when we get to that interior. Gaps are really good from front to back on the top of the hood. Again, like I said, the paint's probably five, 10 years old. Shines well, sits good. That's a good looking car. It does have drum brakes on the car. Got some uh, Goodyear Eagles, tire tread, has some nice deep tire tread on it. Can't beat a Hemi orange car, Dalton. No, you can't. And the interior, I'm excited to look at that too, because that's really neat. Really neat style, original interior. One thing when they repainted, and I like this, they, they put just that little bit of gravel guard right at the bottom and then, you know, painted it. It's a paintable gravel guard right at the very, very base. Just makes it so much tougher you know, yep. without chipping and then get any surface rust or something when you get that chip. And as you can see down along there, there's no bubbles, blisters, chips, nothing like that. Nice and clean over the wheel well is excellent. Little ding in the original chrome here on the wheel well. A couple tiny little paint imperfections right here. Very, very small. Original chrome still shines really nicely around the tail lights and the marker lights. I kind of like the luggage rack. I really do. You know, you see a lot of them with the spoilers, but it's different and it it looks neat. I'm, I'm a fan. It's original and it looks good. Why don't you go ahead and pop the trunk, would you? Um, as I mentioned before, the back bumper, again, has some of those little tiny little spots in it if you look real close. Um, the argent on the front grille and the argent on the rear balance looks beautiful. Another thing is kind of shows you how nice and original a car is. The bottom of the quarter to the bottom of the door lines up beautifully. As we come in here, we have our original jack in its original position here. Trunk floor has all been painted and that has also been just lightly rhino lined as well. All solid and original just to protect it. 
original style spare jack iron all in its correct place bottom of the trunk lid paints nice as well I mean, you can take this car to any local car show and be super proud of it. Absolutely. It's a gorgeous car. It's just not a trailer queen rotisserie car. Yep. It's a good mix between uh, restored and a lot of original. Yeah, exactly. As we open up the door jams, paint in the door jams, nice and shiny, just as nice as the paint on the outside. It's what we like to see. Inside the jam here is all good. Like I said, original Hemi orange car. Here's another thing that I just think is awesome. The door panels look original. They're in fantastic shape. You can see just a little bit of um, wear on that chrome there. But the door panel is in great condition. Corners of her doors are good. No rust, never had any, which I would expect just this way with the undercarriage that looks as nice as this one. Here's what I think is super cool. If we come into here, you got, it looks to me like the original carpet still in the car. See that on that center hump? And right along the back here, just all kind of, to me, looks like the original carpet. Dome light works. Headliner appears to be in really good shape. Appears original. It's all tight. I don't see any spots. Yeah, I don't think that's ever been changed. It's got the uh, overhead seat belts. Back door panels. Excellent condition. I think this car's got like 56,000, 56,489 miles on the odometer. Uh, very possible that it is original. Here's the other thing. I mean, I've never personally seen this interior color combination, but it's according to the fender tag, it's original interior. Yeah, it's really neat, especially with the Hemi orange exterior. Super cool. Now, if you look really close, you can just see how some of this is just getting thin here. It's not through, but I don't know how to explain that, but you see how the little black, the little foam there is just starting to get a little thin. Um, around the edges is excellent on the seat. Somebody added and put the Challenger RT uh, new floor mats in there. Original radio, eight track player. Here's another thing, inside the dash, look how clean this is. And that's just, that just shows a lot about it. There's no surface rust, nothing inside that glove box. Um, dash pad has some cracks. That's why we do the, it came with a um, cover on it. Yep. <laughs> got a beautiful steering wheel as far as the steering wheel goes that wood grain wheel is excellent the horn works it's got an aftermarket tack in it and the original am radio uh, dome light works as well as we come down here the visors are still nice and tight this one here does need the new end a little bushing end on it plastic in here is good it's hot let's it roll hot. that baby down and eat out of there can't drive by without seeing, you know, just taking a second look at this Hemi Orange Challenger. Yeah, sharp. Mopar had some awesome colors, really high impact colors. If you look right on the side, you, there's no chip or nothing, but there's a tiny, tiny ding right here, just tiny. As we go down here, on the quarter panel is beautiful. Bottom of the door on the driver's side fits excellent. Like I said, the gaps and just how flush things fit, it's just a really good car. The hood sits up just a little bit. Um, you can push it right down and it fits flush. Just, there's just a little play in that hinge is all. It's a good challenger. You know, to some people, a lot of cars have been Challengers and Cudas and stuff have been painted Hemi Orange, but if it's important to you to have an original Hemi Orange car, it's kind of hard to find. Yeah, they are. Especially with this interior color combination. I don't know how many are left like that. And then this being original still. I mean, yeah, you have a little rip in here, but I would not change that. I would leave this 100% original as long as you possibly well, can. Even from, you know, being the high back seats, even from outside the car, you can see that, yeah, that, knitted, there. Yeah, that knitted black and orange. So it, you know... Super cool, isn't it? Yeah, it is neat. Like Floor gem paint again is nice. They did a nice job when they repainted it years ago. Corners of both doors are perfect. Door panel is excellent. Still has the original sticker in there. You want to grab that eight track out there? What do you grab by? 
I don't know why it's sitting out there. It's not for this car, but kind of cool. I'll drive over there. Um, as far as attack works, it's got 56,489 miles. Gas gauge works, factory temp gauge works, amp gauge works. The only thing not working right now is the clock, you guys, so far. No way. And by IRS agents if you don't pay. Original okay. AM radio works. Um, looks like we have an aftermarket Craig, Pine, Pioneer Craig 8 track player. Conditioner kicks in. Yeah, feels pretty cool right now, too. It does. Oh, wow. That air feels nice. <laughs> it does feel nice. Sweet car, isn't it? Yeah, it is. And as we, I love these cars because you just sit down in them, you know, and you kind of got to look over the dash a little bit and see that bulged hood. The paint on the hood is awesome. The lines across yeah, the when top you, of the when you sit in one of these behind the wheel, you feel like you're ready to go fast. The same thing with like the Cudas too. You no, know, just the way the way you sit down in the cars. A 1974 Plum Crazy Purple, not original, but we painted it Plum Crazy Purple Cuda. Uh, was my uh, first love affair with the Mopar. I'll tell you that. Really? Yeah. You ain't shit. This thing's fast. It's a freaking awesome car. Man. Yeah, it is. That's sweet. Isn't that sweet? Here's a break. So no power. No disc, just like that. Nice full pedal, way up to the top. Not something you have to go ahead and jump in and get power disc brakes for. I would not even mess with it. I love the drums the way they're set up here. I wasn't I, really expecting to. I know. That's I awesome. I wasn't either the first time I rode that. That scoots. It's a nice, nice car. Go ahead and shut the air off. That was with the air conditioning going. That probably took 10 horsepower from us. It did, definitely. So as we're going here, the steering's just nice and straight. Yeah, power steering's nice to have too, having that big block up there. Coyoteclassics.com. Um, you could be having just as so much fun as I am right now if you buy this thing.